Hi everyone. Welcome to Jabatiki. Have you ever come across lazy and eager loading while working with Hibernate or JPA? I am sure you have. In fact, it's one of the most frequently asked interview question. But do you really know the difference between these two type of loading strategies? If not, don't worry. In this tutorial, we'll dive deep into the actual difference between lazy and eager loading. And yes, We'll even debug the code step by step so you can clearly understand how things work under the hood. Okay, all right. So without any further delay, let's get started. So well, before we jump into the coding part, let me first give you a quick overview about these two loading strategy to set the context. If you'll go to the IntelliJ IDEA, we are using this class customer and address entity. And if you observe, customer has one too many mapping to the address. Okay. And if you'll check the address, it's a bidirectional mapping. Address also have the map to customer with many to one. But don't focus on this bidirectional. Our intention to understand how lazy and eager loading internally works. Okay. So come to the customer. We have a customer and we have list of address. This is what the one to many mapping. Now let's understand what are these two different loading strategy. What is lazy loading? Okay. So when I'm saying lazy loading, who is the parent here? customer who is the related entities or child entities that is address right so in lazy loading lazy means don't face the related entities unless i explicitly ask to you so when you load the customer hibernate will not load address immediately if you are using lazy loading when you load the customer address value will not be automatically loaded immediately until unless you explicitly inform to the JP or Hibernate okay while loading the customer I want get address as well then Hibernate will fire a another query to load the address for you okay so lazy loading means load only the parent entity and don't load all its related entities now what is eager loading Eager means fetch related entities right away when you load the parent entity. When I am loading the customer, currently the related entity is address. While loading the customer, load address as well. This is what called eager loading. So here, in eager loading case, when you will fetch a customer, the address will be fetched immediately in the same query using join or fetch query. So I don't want you to confuse with this theory. Don't worry. In a moment, I will debug and I will show you how the things work internally. Okay. For now, you just remember, you can go for lazy loading when you don't want to load all the related entities. Go for eager loading when you want to load everything. With customer, I want to load all its related entities. Then go for eager, eager loading. With customer, I don't want to load any related entities, then go for lazy loading. It depends on your use case, how you want to design your application. Okay, fine. Now let's understand each loading strategies by debugging our code. Now to make it simple, what I have done, I created an endpoint called get customer. Give the ID, it will return you the customer. Now if you go to the service get customer, I have defined this method. It's just a simple method. Customer repository, find by ID, give the customer ID, it will return you the customer object. Okay, and that is what we are returning. So I am added, I added the breakpoint here to visualize really the theory what we discuss is valid or not. In lazy loading, does Hibernate or JPA trigger a single query to load the parent entity? And when I will ask for give me the address, he will fire the another query 
will validate that. Again, in eager, does Hibernate or JPA really trigger the join or fetch query to load everything in one go? That also will validate in the same method. So I have added the breakpoint here. Fine. Just add here as well. Now let me start the application in debug mode. Let me tell you, meanwhile the application will be started. In one to many association mapping, one to many and we have not specified any fetching strategy, right? Fetch Leggy. We have not specified anything because by default the fetching strategy will be Leggy in one to many. So we no need to explicitly define it. So first we will validate the behavior of Leggy loading. Then we will change the fetching strategy and we will understand the Igor loading. So since the application is started, let me open the swagger. So I have this method, get the customer by id, I will give id 1. Now click on execute. So request came to the controller, go to the console tab. Now let's move one step ahead. Now we are in the service class. This is where exactly your application will connect to the database to load the things, right? There is no query as such. Nothing is there, right? Let me clear everything. Now, step over. Can you see here? Since I have defined the lazy loading, it first execute to load my parent entity. That is nothing. Customer. Now, it didn't trigger the address query, right? Because I didn't ask JP or Hibernate to give me the address along with this customer. Now, how we can validate that? Go to the variable. Okay, we don't have the customer yet, just execute it. We have the customer and only we can see the single query. That is what the meaning of lazy loading. Now, when it will trigger the address query, when I will ask him, hey, I have the customer, call the get address. Since I have defined the getter and setter method, immediately when I will ask JPA, hey, give me the address. I got two address, right? If you go to the console, can you see here the second query to fetch the address? Okay, so what do you understand in lazy loading? It will only load the parent entity and it will load only the related entity when you will ask him. Okay, when you will ask to JP or Hibernate. Since we ask to load the address, I mean in customer we have the getter and setter method, right? So when you are loading the customer, if you will check get address, it will trigger the query. That makes sense, right? So this is what the behavior of lazy loading. It will only load the parent unless until you ask to load the related entities, he won't load it. Fine. Now just execute it. We are good. Now if you see here, we got the result. 200 status code. That is expected. Now let's understand the eager loading. Go to the customer. I will change fetch fetch type eager again restart the application in debug mode so it started clear everything re-trigger the request again go to the service I will be there in console can you see here when I define the fetching strategy as a eager and when I am asking JPA or Hibernate to hey, load me the customer object, what it execute the query, select ID name from the customer and do the left join to the address table. Can you see here? It doesn't matter whether you, whether you are asking for uh, get address or not. I don't know, since you mentioned to me, do the eager loading, I load all the related entities along with your parent. Give me, if you have n number of related entities, I will join everything and I will return you the result in a single query. Can you see here? This is the key difference between lazy loading and eager loading. Don't assume that if you are using lazy loading, 
only parent entity response will return to you unless until you will ask the related entities but if you are using eager loading the internally jpa will execute all the entities query using join okay this is what the simple statement about lazy loading and eager loading now to make it simple what i can do in customer controller instead of loading the customer object i will only load name okay now what will happen if i will do the lazy loading it will load the customer with a single query since nowhere i have specified to load the address for me it won't trigger the second query okay now what will happen in the eager loading it will load customer along with address using join query this is what we want to validate just i no need to debug again we can just since we already uh, saw the query what it internally generates i'll directly start the application so application started now if you observe in customer which one it will execute first we are validating the eager loading behavior as per our understanding in eager loading it will load everything even though you are just asking to load the customer name okay now clear everything go to the swagger execute the request now if you see the query statement load from customer then load these things from address doing the join with address this is expected right eager loading means even though you want or not since you have specified eager loading i will give you everything i will join all the related entities and i will give you the result in one go fine now just remove this go to the customer let's validate the behavior of lazy loading restart the app so it started let me clear everything go to swagger execute the request now if you see what is the query trigger to load only the parent did it trigger the address query no because i have not asked this hibernator jpa to load the address what i am asking to load only the field from parent entity if i'll do the get address here even though i am loading parent entity if i'll do the get address it will trigger two different query now let's check that as well that is what we understand in our first use case right so to just get the confirmation i am retriggering again so it started nothing to do just retrigger it can you see here again it ran two query one for parent and since you asked to load the address it does another query to just load the address no join and nothing just simply two query one for parent one for child hope this makes sense so these are two strategies of loading in hibernate lazy loading and eager loading so this concept might be look simple but understanding these strategies can help you optimize your queries and improve your application efficiency okay so just give it a try and let me know in a comment section if you have any doubts that's all about this particular video guys thanks for watching this video meet you soon with a new concept